All right, so I've chosen food chains to go over with you. There's a lot of great stuff in here, so I'm going to try to go through it quickly. These are the California standards, but it does go with Kentucky Social Studies Standard for fifth grade, SC.05.4.7.1. And it's nonlinear lesson. We can press the back button and the concept check to check what we've learned. Um, so we'll have to be moving forward throughout. That's what may take a while. Then here you have the food chain. I like this page because you can move things and the definitions under there as well as the arrows for the energy. On to the next screen, this is where we'll be going back and forth. You can click on producers and learn about producers. Then it has um, a link here and it takes me to a video that I can watch and learn the process the of ultimate photosynthesis. Source of and back here I'm going to press the back button and then I could go learn about consumers where I can then move this and have a visual of a type of herbivore that eats plants only. I can move that back and I can see what carnivores are and what they eat and the same with omnivores. Then I hit the back button after I've learned about consumers and I can learn about decomposers. Again I'm going to hit the back button. Finally I go to concept check where I play a game. I'm going to show you the game quickly. Um, I pick consumer and I hit next. As you can see, it shows me what the producer, the consumer, and decomposer do. This shows the cow eating and it continues. The decomposer, the mushrooms, eat up um, all the waste. And we continue. I want to quickly go through this, so I'm going to go quick now so you can see the rest of this. Um, and in the middle of it, it will show me how well I've done. I have not made any mistakes. Had I made a mistake, it would tell me how many. And it tells me I can click here for help. These take us to different web links um, that I can learn more about producers and consumers or decomposers. If I want, I can go and learn more. I'm going to go on to the next slide so I can show you the game. I learned about carnivores and herbivores so and omnivores and now I can play this game. What is this guy? You know, I could pretend I don't know. I'm practicing and say I don't know. I want to check. I've got them all wrong. Okay, but then I can learn what they are. Reset it. Okay, so I like this game for that reason. Students can check their work and they're moving things. It's great for kinesthetic and tactile learners. Um, this is a food chain game, very similar to the other game, but instead we're moving this around. The bird eats the caterpillar, the caterpillar eats the flower. And you go on to the next food chain where the kids would figure out and see if I get it wrong, it goes right back down to where it doesn't belong. And for some reason I didn't get that there. So I will go on, I got it right, and I'm finished. And that is the end of the lesson. Perfect for auditory learners, visual, kinesthetic, and tactile learners.